Good morning guys, so it is the day after Thanksgiving and hold on, I've got to go get the phone real quick and I'll tell you what's going on. Okay, okay guys, so let me explain what was going on now that I'm through the phone call, but so this morning I woke up late and I am doing a neighbor's chores for them and I woke up late, they wanted me to chore 7.30 and then at 4. Well, I woke up late and came running out and my socks were soaking wet. And our situation upstairs is we have in the kitchen sink, it was backed up. And so a family member says, well, let me fix it here. And we tried and we fixed it. And then all of a sudden it stopped working and they left and put a bucket in the bottom there so that the water would drain into this bucket when we use the sink. Well, last night had Thanksgiving fun with my family and things and everything went great. Well, this morning I woke up, like I said, woke up late and was on my way out and I don't know if you can tell, but there's water draining out of there. So we have to take out everything under the stairs. There is, this carpet is soaked here. There. I don't know if you can see the water on the floor and it goes into there and all over the floor in there and it is dripping from behind this first light here and a little bit past the light there and there it's also dripping from right there it's dripping from there and there's a spot I don't know if you can see that spot right there that it's dripping so this whole floor is soaked into there. Then upstairs the floor that is um, right in front of the sink is just soaked right now. So we're trying to get that done. I still have to go chore and it's just it's crazy right now. Um, I called the family member and he's gonna be talking to some other family members and whew, both of these family members that did this are, I don't know, we'll see what's going on. But for right now, I just have to clean things up. Oh. I have to clean things up and I need to take this phone call. The water was up to here. Well, more or less here. We got it mopped up. We need to empty this out, clean this out. We're going to shut off some water down here. Okay guys, so I'm like vlogging and driving at the same time right now. I don't think that's pretty safe right now. But I think since I live on such busy roads here that I, it's, it's all right for right now. <laughs> I, I'm kidding, I don't have busy roads. Um, I live in the middle of nowhere. Um, anyways, so an update is my siblings came and we moved a huge table downstairs. We were able to move stuff out of a room that was in there because we had to take stuff out for the table and then we got that done and then now we I'm running down to a neighbor's place of sorts well it's my family's house <laughs> um, to get I guess I can call my family a neighbor anyways um, because I live with the person I am a caregiver for anyways I'm off track so I'm hurrying down to there to get a box fan that they have because we're one box fan short. Well, not short, but we're one fan short of what we need. And so we're trying to get this. But the update on the flood situation is, ho, ho, ho. It was leaking under the stairs, so I had left siblings cleaning that up. One of my siblings came and we went and hurried and did chores together not hurried we made sure they were done right though um, we did um, we mopped up all the water had to move a ton of stuff out of the walkway and under the stairs now and then we've had to move a ton of stuff just moving things around I needed it's just it's a big disaster with half of the family gone right now down to um, uh, they're gone for Thanksgiving anyways and it's just it's it's frustrating you guys I, we thought we had this resolved before they left 
but something ran and ran last night. Some water? Nope, nobody's coming. From somewhere ran last night and it flooded the bucket. Whew. Okay, it flooded the bucket. Sorry this is shaky, but the road has correlations in it, or corrugations, and so it's really bumpy. But this, whatever was flowing, uh, overflowed, it overflowed the bucket, and then it ended up flooding and it sank down. We have things drying, um, going things, and it, it is just, right now, there's water everywhere. We have it dripping into coolers right now because we have buckets upstairs that have the water in it. And it's frustrating, you guys, right now. But we'll, we'll get it done. So that's that's the update so far. Um, we thought we had it fixed, but it didn't work. We ended up, the, the washer had some issues. And we took off the drain hose and flushed it out. And we were able to get, that was clogged, so we flushed that out. Um, and it's working now. Now it's just a matter of getting this figured out. So I have a kitchen sink because going downstairs to the big sink, it was like the first time, oh, this is fun, this is great, I have, I'm thankful this. But now it's it's old, because it gets old anyways. Um, but don't, don't get me wrong, you guys. I really am thankful for what I've got. I'm thankful that I have running water. I'm thankful that I have a home. I'm thankful that I have a loving family. And I'm very, 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 very thankful for the life I've got. But sometimes life just, you think life's going great and it just throws punches at you. But I guess not. Or I guess life's not always perfect like we want it to be so anyways I'm almost here so I'm just gonna I'll talk to you guys later but it's it's crazy guys okay so I'm on my way back from picking up the fan and I just got called to say that my sibling says well the second box fan will not turn on now um just my luck today so now I didn't want to have to do this but we've got some fans that we have to build from like you have to put them together and I didn't want to have to do that but it looks like I'm gonna have to build the fan together put the fan together in order to use it or maybe we can put a fan maybe we can put it so that the air will circulate through oh I just don't know what we're gonna do guys um, so, but, so we have two, I have my one working box fan that's down there, another working box fan from here, from my house, and now we're going to get this other box fan, or, my siblings have a box fan going, and then they have it, it's a tower fan, going upstairs, and it was, we found, they unscrewed the bottom off of the dishwasher, uh, the front panel thing and found out that the dishwasher was leaking under there as well. So, we'll just have to see. Well, it was like the front part of it was wet. It wasn't wet way back underneath, but there's the front part there. It's, it's just, it's crazy, you guys, right now. Um, I think I've said that a few times, that it's crazy. I just, I thought we had this fixed. Anyways, I'm going to continue driving and not vlogging. Um, but I'm on my way back with this tower fan, or with this tower fan, this box fan, and whoop, oh, oh, and I'm gonna we're gonna get it going and hopefully get things dried out and done up. I think this one's a smaller one than what I've got, so we'll let this one go. I think probably put this one under the stairs and then let that bigger one run probably upstairs and then let that other oscillating one we can get out and oscillate downstairs I think that's what we'll do um, th about this time last year we had the downstairs sink was leaking underneath so we had to deal with that mess and then um, the water the dryer was not working it last summer now it works again um, It kind of stopped working. It stopped this year again around the same time. Um, 
then we had the uh, the washer sort of went out but we fixed that so um, if what I found in life that if one thing goes out another thing will go out too it usually happens generally in threes and not all at the same time okay it's less bumpy if I go up this way um, not generally about the same thing so like my oh, how many? so like there was the dryer and then the washer went out a little a few months like a month later and then now the uh, pipes are leaking so that's the third thing so for my I'm noticing for my family things happen in threes oh 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 another thing nobody's coming is I just remembered that my grandma has a superstition that years that end in seven are bad years. Like, um, I, I can't remember all that. Ha oh, 07 was the, the two that, like, I can't remember past 07, but I know that things in 07 were, I'm going to switch arms here. Okay. Um, 07 was my family had a huge brush fire by, that almost wiped out our house. We lost a family member in a car accident, and then um, now in 17, 10 years later, we are having house floods. And my grandpa had went on, underwent a surgery, so I guess that's just life, I guess. But she has a superstition that years that end in seven are bad luck for the family. So, and we keep telling her, no, that's not the case. Um, but she doesn't believe us, so. Okay, well, I am going to keep going here, and I will see how things are at the house. I better quit vlogging and driving. Okay, so we got all the storage containers that were here out. And everything, I don't know if you can hear me above the fans. Everything that was down under here is out because it leaked. You can see it uh, going over very well in the camera. Yeah, right there is the water and that's just a wet spot. We've dried it up with a towel. But, let me turn off the light here. Ow, oh, oh. <laughs> um, And then we took out the containers here and you come through here and it was dripping somewhere in here and then you come in here and it's dripping from right there from around the light socket and then you walk down a little further and there this is drying up right there it's drying up there and there so and then we've got these woo -hoo -hoo, to catch excess water if we get any um, but we just FaceTime someone and they took told us how to turn it off and things but let me show you we have <laughs> all the storage containers and most of the stuff that was under is right here and then you walk around the corner and there's stuff that was there and there um, we brought down the big table and chairs and we'll get those arranged later. And then, ta-da! Oh, let me flip on the light. Ta-da! There's stuff down the wall, between the wall and the mattresses, and this. So, this is pretty much the situation I'm in right now with everything. Hold on here. And getting things situated and sorted and gone through and fixed straight so we're getting there bit by bit we FaceTimed them got water shut off to the sink and they'll be back tomorrow oh, let me get this light they'll be back tomorrow they want to or they say so hopefully we get it fixed soon I'm crossing my fingers about that Hey guys, so we just got back from choring. I did, and I don't know if you can. Where are you? Can you guys see him? Oh, there he is. <laughs> um, me and Bandit got back from choring with my siblings. They headed home. We got things cleaned up, straightened up. My uncle called, 
and we FaceTime and got the water shut off and I went to shut off the hot water but I barely even touched the nozzle I just went psh, like that to turn it off and the nozzle broke so my bad on that um, we did some cleaning today just topped some stuff off did things straightened up um, right now I don't know if you can tell but look since the rugs were too wet to put in the dryer there's a rug right there that's drying and a rug right there that's drying let's zoom out so <sighs> all I can say is I'm just tired and frustrated and I feel like I deserve a vacation that me and the person I am caring for deserve a vacation we deserve to go somewhere we deserve to just get out of the house and go and just do things um, so maybe I'll take them and go do something maybe um, I don't know but I better go let bandit out of the car so I think I'm gonna end the video here for the day um, it's just it's been crazy it's been chaotic and things so I'm just gonna end it here and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video bye guys